we can grow our glutes fast and consistently? I found the answer a long time ago with my first personal trainer. And the key involves several factors, but the most important is the technique we use when we work out. You have already heard me talking about hypertrophic training workout. And one of the fundamentals of this kind of workout is develop muscle. You will focus on increasing the size of your muscle fibers, developing large in areas that you work out the most. This might be places like your thighs, calves, bicep, or back. Hypertrophy focuses more on moderate weight and moderate repetitions. That means we will work out within reasonable or proper limits, no strength, excessive, or intense. When I work glutes, I begin with the heaviest and harder exercise, in which I perform sometimes hypertrophic technique. Let's push down is a great exercise to focus on the glutes. The force is centralized in our hamstrings, but also quads. I perform three sets in which the first one I use 55 pounds with 20 reps, which means that while I am lifting moderate weight, I'm focusing in more repetitions that may enhance muscular endurance. While we are training this method, it promotes oxidative energy pathway and improves aerobic capacity, which is important to develop resistance and endures long workouts without getting tired easy. Once I finish my first set, I will raise the weight to 70 pounds and I will decrease the reps to 15. The last set, I lift 100 pounds with 10 reps. In this last set, I am lifting my heaviest weight with less repetitions. This allows me to increase muscle mass while I'm working out. It doesn't mean that you have to rely on one method exclusively. Alternating between different methods may be the best approach for long-term suicides. Launch to the side is an excellent exercise for legs and glutes. I like to challenge myself, so I always try to meet exercises and make it harder for me. So I miss two exercises here. I'm doing lunges to the side, but also I'm adding in lunges to the back. It is an excellent exercise to target the glutes. You will feel fatigue, but it really pumps your glutes the best. I'm performing this with bands. That may be a good alternative if you can lift heavy or use weight. But you can perform this exercise also with barbell or dumbbells. It will be a great way to also give strengthening to your upper body. I perform three sets in which each set I do reps between 15 to 20. It depends how I'm doing the exercise. Am I using heavy weight or light weight? It is important to know how you perform this exercise to have the chance to grow muscle mass. So if I am using, for example, the barbell with 60 pounds in each side, I will do reps between 10 or 15. But if I'm doing light weight, I will perform 20 reps. We need to have clear what kind of exercise and why we are performing this exercise differently. For example, light weight will be in the case that you are coming back to the gym for a lesion or you are beginning with your fitness journey. Eventually, you will lift heavy. But sometimes I didn't feel strong enough to lift heavy, so I focus more on dynamic exercises that work several muscle groups and also target them easy and allow me to burn some fat. Hip thrust is an efficient exercise that targets the glutes and it can be performed in different ways. It can be done in the Smith machine, in the bench, in the floor, and also we can use the barbell, dumbbells, plates. The most important theme in this exercise is that we must focus in the form. Some people say that my muscle connection is more important than form. For me, both are important because if we don't know the form, we probably can get a lesion easily and probably we will not see progress. On the other hand, my muscle connection may help to endure and grow muscle. 
This is a conscious muscle contraction during exercise in which we focus the tension in a specific muscle group while we are working out. At the end of the day, time under tension during resistance training is going to be the key component for muscle building. Hip drops in a SME machine, it may be a great way to perform this exercise with heavy weight because give us better support to endorse this exercise. But free weight is also good because require more effort as we are working out equilibrium and force. A great way to get the best with this exercise is doing single leg. We require more effort, stability and force. I usually perform three sets with reps between 10 or 20. It depends on the way and also if I am doing it in the Smith machine or free weight. Remember, less reps, more weight help to grow muscle mass, but more reps and low weight will help you with your endurance. Bulgarian split squat is a great exercise to give us a strengthening in our lower body. Targeting quadriceps, hamstring, and glutes. It is an excellent exercise to improve balance and coordination. It can be performed with dumbbell, plate, and even barbell. I found really helpful hold the weight in my leg. I tried to not involve a lot my arms because I got a lesion in my elbow that made weak my arm so if you have this kind of problem you could try this way this is a great exercise to grow glutes i usually do three sets in which i do 20 reps with each leg press machine is a good way to enhance our legs individually always is good not just work both legs but also work single leg to endure or equilibrium and strengthening I love this exercise. You can try to do heavier and definitely it will help you build and grow your glutes. I usually do three sets with reps between 10 or 15. It depends of the way, but also my capacity. If you are conscious on what are your goals and what are the best exercise and techniques to use, you will grow muscle easily and will endorse your workouts give you the opportunity to have a better performance thank you for watching and i see you guys in this video